But do you believe in tea? Tuina mu echi ntucho kwe kube mikono. Oyinzo gama nti tuina ba comic writers batono eh? Mm. Nenga muevali, mm. nenga they've not been given chance. Do you realize that? Um, nga they've not been given chance. Nengo liya amanyo wandi kevi nitu mm. kie? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't really, I can't really. Because I, I will give you an example. Mm. I will not mention the name. Yes. But I was on one set where mm. we had a sitcom like, the sitcom was everything. Yes. But because of A, B, C, D, it really went down the drain. Let's take it. Wow. So, when we talk about the sitcom, we talk about what it takes yes. to produce out these things. But just because you say, mm. no, I will not. Yeah, I, I think, um, you see, people tend to forget that uh, even in the arts, we, we are still human beings. Mm. And the human beings are made of personalities. Mm. And those personalities define each and every one of us. You know, we are made, we are mm. known by that. Mm. And there, surely there are people who don't wish well for others. Yeah. Like very many, you understand? Mm. I cannot defend anyone, mm. you understand? But the, also the other thing is, man, the brokenness is too much. You understand? <laughs> yes, 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 because I think, I think uh, it is survival for the fittest. Okay. In many places, never know again. I'm Katali. You understand? When you go to a market, you will find that Omudala, eh, Muguruanira, a singer sent a ninja itao, which take it, which is can't be different, any different here. Mm. I know many times, mild choice mm. has called people who can write comedy, mm. and maybe many times those comedies don't reach up to their expectations. Mm. But I know they have called so many times okay. for comic writers, so I really don't know. How are the kids about Rainbow, Cambridge? Uh, because I saw the excitement and the yes, smile you, on you your face it, right? when, you, when, it's, yeah, I, I when thought, I say it's the kids. I thought when you I were about, about my princesses. But uh, <laughs> the kids are great. Mm. Uh, school is great. I, mm. I've learned a lot mm. uh, by working with children. Mm. Uh, it rejuvenates you every because other Because I day. wanted to ask you, how do you differentiate like bobo within your working lane mm. how do you differentiate okukwata abana abato ne nkwata yabantu abakulu because mm. in most cases chigana mm. abantu abasinga chigana nabo golero omwana yes, eh yes. ne era biranti ono omwana gwendi kwate yeah. muto how do you like how have you really learned to work with these kids i, I think uh, <laughs> like human beings every day we try to be better than we were yesterday uh, i've been teaching for 10 years oh and um, when I remember the first time I stepped into class, mm. it was uh, overwhelming okay. because, uh, I, you know, children, mm. especially exposed children, mm. you end up... Cold kids, uh, rich kids, uh, planned uh, kids. <laughs> I, well, I don't want to comment about that, but all I know is you learn, mm. you know, mm. because this thing is more about individuals. Mm. You understand? Mm. I know you. When you have just come into my space, I'll study you. Yeah. I'll try to understand what you want from me. Mm. And then I will let you know what I want from you. Mm. We have an unwritten understanding that you are a student. Mm. I'm a teacher. Mm. What I want is to make you better. Mm. With my experience and my knowledge, I want to share with you. But I know mm. there are things you know that I don't know. Yeah. So I want you to understand that we're going to learn from each other. From each other. Now, when you introduce that it becomes very, very smooth. Because they know, I'm going to ask them a question about what they saw over the weekend. Mm. And they will know that if my lesson is first thing on, the, uh, on Monday, mm. I'll ask them, how was your weekend? What special thing did you, you understand? So they know that and they prepare for that. So what have I learned? I've mm. learned that you have got to know everyone and make them feel important. Mm. Because as children, they can decide to make your life hard. Okay. Intentionally, mm. just like adults do. You understand? <laughs> yes. They are they are young humans who are learning step by step, but they can decide to say we want to make a hell for <laughs> you, or they can decide to say we want you to be our best. Okay. So I have learned that with time. Yes. So as you are a teacher mm. of kids, yes. would you really love us taking a little bit of another path of taking you to class again? Uh, as as like me literally asking you a few questions 
to, to it's just like a check in mm. a brain booster it, it it would be nice i love challenges okay. i love challenges that's why i never stop studying okay that's really nice i never stop studying right now i'm still i'm back <laughs> in university and i'm studying so i love challenges so, I, because i don't know all man mm, I, okay. I want to learn something so my, my, I, i'm going to pose a question for mm. you and I'm going to give you very limited time mm. for you to think about it. I hope it's about common knowledge. Very, very, very. It's GP. So I have a division sign. Mm -hmm. I have stand beneath. You have a division? Stand. Yeah, I have a division sign. Uh -huh. I have the word stand. Stand. One C. Nechigambo man on Sajja up. Make a statement out of that. It's a division sign. Divided. Man stands right. Make 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 a a statement. A statement that divided. You stand. Where is the man? I, I pause that again. Pause that again. I have a division sign. Mm -hmm. It has the word stand. One C. Mm -hmm. Netigambo man. Waguru. You can use literally. Let me let me give you a hint. You can use the word man mm -hmm. as the starting thing, mm -hmm. and then you use. Man understand. That's 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 okay too. Though it's not the answer that I'm looking for. So, did you say? I am lost. <laughs> no, stand up, man. Stand up, man. Yes. Stand under, man. Uh -huh. Stand up. Understand. Sorry, understand. Understand. Yes. Understand. And understand. understand, man. Understand, man. Yes. So, wait, understand. Under, man. then stand. The man is understanding. Mm -hmm. Check it. On the division side? And it's under. Uh -huh. You do not need to, to, to say the word divide. <laughs> it's man and understand. Okay. But say Yes. So yes. that is it. Interesting. Interesting. So Gedo, yes. <laughs> going back to your normal life. Yes. The kids, mm -hmm. your kids now, your personal babies, your yeah. princesses, as you said. How are they? Uh it's a blessing. How is your journey as a father? I I learn every day. Mm -hmm. Um I being a young father is uh, one of the one of the hardest things. Because many times you don't want to fail. Okay. But again, you don't want to apply other people's parenting methods okay. to your own children. Mm -hmm. Because there are many things we see and read. Ethics is a favorite yes, ethics is yes, yes. And uh, it's been a beautiful journey, I should say. Mm. Uh, we fight, we laugh. Uh, you know, we make merry, we, we do many things together, mm. but all I know is it's been a blessing. And uh, mm. my five girls have made me happy. By yes. girls. They, they, they've made me happy. No, you can't say that, you young father. Five I am. girls. I am. It's, it's, it's a, you know, at my age. Because I feel and, like what you work at experience. Of course, of course. Mm. I, I can tell you mm. there, are things, there are things that I've, I know, mm. and there are people who are older than me that they don't know. Yeah. You understand? Mm. The ability to have a family mm. and it runs. Yeah. It sh surely is a blessing. And I can't brag mm. about knowing all, mm. but I know I want to put in it's time a journey. to mm. make sure I don't regret yes. later because mm. they grow so fast. Yeah, I know. They grow so <laughs> fast. You wake up today and <clears throat> the report for third time is <laughs> out. And then next time they are going... You you buy a pair of shoes today, tomorrow they say, you know what, this can't fit anymore. Mm. That basically shows you that they are growing. You buy food and there is bread today. For one breakfast, it is all the <laughs> loaf is going. Yeah. Like, okay, I think before they didn't eat like this because they are now growing and it's a blessing. That's it's really nice. Food. That's really nice. They ask questions, they, they are inquisitive, mm. they are artistic and creative, <clears throat> and all that. Is Does it really thing. threaten you? I don't think it threatens you. Mm. It th threatens me. Mm. But I feel uh, every time I see them grow, mm. it gives me the feeling of um, you understand? Eh? The <laughs> feeling of uh, wow. Wow. I've you know, lived have, to witness. Yes, we, we have 
we have chats about life, mm. you know, and uh, you challenge them about things and mm. they give you an answer and you're like, whoa, mm. this is this is a brilliant answer from mm. a growing young lady. Mm. And it only shows you that they can't go back. <laughs> Yes, I've kept going. My question about kids or having children around: what What's the right time for you to talk? Like, what's the right time for you or age for you to have a sex talk? You as a parent and your kids. At what age? I think uh, uh, the thing uh, the thing about sex talk. Mm. I am um, <clears throat> I am I am I'm a mentor. Uh, I've just not been blessed with boys, mm. uh, but I always talk to people, and uh, they talk about sex. Mm. We as African people, me as a Muganda, mm. it's known. I put it together with my education, you know, profession, mm. and I know when you are teaching, for example, uh, mathematics, mm. P1. Mm. You don't teach it the way you teach it in P7. Yeah. You understand? Mm. It's broken down into smaller bits mm. depending on the age. Mm. Now, there are things that parents need to understand that you can't just, they can't <coughs> just come from the space mm. and drop. Yes. You have got to introduce to your children these topics, but in portions, portions they can handle depending mm. on the age. Mm. You can't just come and talk about certain things when the child is below 16. You understand? You have got to understand that y you have to break it down slowly by slowly. Mm. And by the time you get to the time of talking about them being responsible mm. of having things like safe sex mm. and things like that, mm -hmm. you have got to have talked about other things. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Your children have got to understand there is a man, there is mm. a woman. Mm. You know, there's a difference and all that. Because like before you before you even go any further, well well, I was growing up, but yes. and that's what we grew up knowing. Yes. So is it anywhere different right right about now? We are, I keep telling people this, mm. evolution changed from <coughs> being physical <coughs> to being mental. Mm. Evolution no longer happens. You know, that's mm. the story. Mm. Evolution. We, mm. you know, the two and two mm. and all that. We no longer see these things anymore. Mm. You understand? Talking about Gamma but uh, let me say, but uh, uh, generations satu, Mabega, Bali by Navy into it. Yes. Right now, evolution is mental. Mental, yeah. Avana, uh, very exposed. Mm. The technological advancement mm. of this generation makes children. Omani, mm. me is eternal. I'm on scroll, scrolling a simo. Mm. You understand? Mm. Which means these kids are getting exposed to things earlier. Mm. And the sooner we talk about things, mm. they will find out. Does social media threaten you with your kids? Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for always keeping looked on to the show, to someone that has been following from the start till now. Thank you so much. Tawira Bidok sharing a link, subscribing to the channel. It's Home Post Creatives. I think I truly catch it. We are to your catch it. Never celebrities, we are. A chin to choke commenting, a chin to choke sharing, a chin to chaman in you. Do not forget subscribing to the channel because you when you do not subscribe to it. And again, look to lava before that. It will never gain a more break. Nelly samples in the Chibuzo Gambuzo Mukuru Benda. Do you feel threatened with the introduction of this new media? I mean, social media. I think, uh, exposing it to your kids. Yes, it is, uh. It's threatening, definitely. It is. Uh, a, a, it's it's only a person who is not a, who is not smart enough that will feel really comfortable with social media for the young ones because one gadgets are here, two and here to stay. Yes, and social media is here to stay. Yes, it's a necessary evil. Mm. And like anything, you've just got to understand how to use it mm. responsibly. Mm. You understand? It's a drug. Yeah. It's a new drug that is very psychological. And people are addicted to very, this. very much. Mm. You understand? Mm. Someone will be worried about their phone having their battery at 40%. They start panicking. Then them eating. Yes. Yeah. You understand? People will be worried when they they get a notification of you have used fifty percent of your, your band. Data. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Mm. And now for the little ones, if not guided, 
this is going to be a huge problem. Mm. You understand? I've seen very many kids who have been irresponsible on social media mm. and the outcomes are very, 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 very bad. You understand? Mm. Kids are not sleeping at night. Yeah. They'll be online until, you yes. know, late in the mm. night. Mm. And then they have school in the following day. Yes. So parents have to be very tight. Mm. And guess what? Mm. The shopping, shocking bit about this, mm. these kids are smarter than us. Yeah. They understand these devices. They know apps and sites that because, we don't know. Because they, really, they, they literally have a lot of time on that gadget than yes. you, a parent who is struggling and fighting so hard to get money. Oman or Gena Moko says Simu, I engage TikTok to the depth. Nga go Okoman of scrolling a pull of videos. What what kind of life do you see for these kids? We were posting in Yoko media, most of like let's speak about TikTok mm. because it's the thing now. Yes. Moni Mwabana, Bona Buto. Okay, like they have the talent. Mm. They have the talent. They can lip sync, they can do this and that. Oh, do, do, you, do you think it's the right thing that, that the parents are doing? Uh, I think, uh, one... To be content creators at that mm, early age. Uh, this is a journey I'd started before, me, with my kids. Mm. And later I reconsidered. Mm. Because one, you see, if at all limelight is hard for us, the adults. Thank you. You understand? Thank you. When I used to be on TV, I hated it. Because I had no life. It becomes hard mm. even for the closest people who are supposed to be your tights. Mm. The way they treat you <laughs> changes. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine a child who is below 18. You find kids who are five. Mm. Parents are just, people are just picking out their phones and recording these kids and mm. then videos go viral. Mm. This in a way is going to get to a time when this child regrets why you did that. Mm. Because sooner or later, mm. these kids are going to regret mm. what you're doing. Mm. Yes, you are their parents, mm. you are the adult or the caretaker, mm. but you've got to understand there is a life for these kids after that. Mm. The pressure is too much. It's too much, and parents need to actually consider. Because why did I really bring up that? I ever saw a video of Zari complaining to Bagamba, Affronting Gobulamu way, mm. Gaburunji, Choka, na affronting Gobulamu, uh, at times Tiffa never could summon again, Vidi Zidinga with Zaga, mm. Debitivity. So people are like, You're a very reckless mother. How could you do this and that to your kid? Mm. And she's like, This is a kid. Let her be a kid because she has to experience the life of mm. being a kid. Mm. And plus, like, moving on further, do you, like, how, how, do, do you feel threatened you being a father and then? Your, your, your career, like fatherhood, mm. does it affect your career, your, 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 your... Being a dad. No, no, no. Mm. You being a dad, mm. does it affect your career in one way or the other? Your uh, career, your theatrical career, you see, and you all see, that, <clears throat> the drama. You see, you could take away the, the work, mm. but you can't take away my girls. Mm. I live for them, they live yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, I make decisions. Mm. And when I'm making decisions, I consider them. You understand? When I am taking an opportunity, mm. I have to think about how does fast. it affect them. Mm. You understand? Mm. Of course, it's inevitable. Mm. You know what? For the next two weeks, you're not going to see me for this. Mm. But it doesn't mean I'm unreachable. Mm. You can call me, we can talk, you understand? Mm. I, I, I try so much balance okay. i'm very lucky that the, the job i do mm. my week job you know permanent job mm. i i leave work early and oh. i've tried so much to go home oh. because i want to be there i want to ask them how was your day i want to find out how school was mm -hmm. you understand i want them to show me a wound i fell daddy i fell here you understand and that's important father's like it is a bus over <laughs> I, I think it's a uh, because it's you're... a calling. I cannot tell anyone that I've been trained by anyone. Mm, to be a good I, father. I, yes. I, I just say I have to be around mm. because no one else mm. is going to do what I'm supposed to do. All the other people, I keep telling my girls this, that all the other people will, <coughs> will not defend you the way I will defend you. Yes. No one is going to defend you like family. Mm. And I have to be around to do that, mm. to make you feel that even when there is a storm mm. and everyone is against you. Mm. I would say, yes, they might, you might have you know, made a mistake or what, mm. but come, 
let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's cuddle, mm. let's hug. Mm. If you want to cry, cry, mm. and I'm here. Mm. The other people will take advantage of you. Yeah. I am the only one who will not try to take advantage of the child mm. who is mine. Mm. So that is something I always think about. Okay, that's really nice. I need. I, I think I need or needed a father like you in my <laughs> life. But anyway, happy <laughs> year. So moving further, you said you're a talents manager. What inspired you to, to get onto that path? Ta like managing someone. Mm. And has it been a hard or is it an artist that is a vocal artist, singer, mm. or a, a movie industry too? Uh, um, I have a company okay. uh, which I registered. It's called Bender Bookings. Mm. Bender Bookings is a company I started out of. Uh, it was inspired by mm. the struggles I went through mm. as a starting actor. Mm. You know, when I was in university, uh, all the struggles I went through to look for auditions and opportunities. No time was it get from here to Mukono. No, we do a audition. You should get another two K. Yo, the box of every Thank you. Thank you. you oh my goodness. <laughs> then uh, at some point you get to a point and then someone's like, Neka to go again. Mm. You understand? Mm. So when I saw all these struggles, you know, going on set and then you have to bring your own costume, you have to transport yourself, you have to feed yourself. Feed yourself. And then at the end of the entire struggle, they give you a 10K. Or none, mm. you understand? Mm. Now, when I looked at all these things, mm. it inspired me to start a company okay. called Bender Bookings. And it was mainly to bring solutions to actors. Oh, solutions yeah. like training. Mm. you know, acting mm. workshops, solutions like mentorship. Mm. You know, there are very many people who come. Mm. For us, we didn't have mentors mm. when we were yeah. starting. And you know how a journey is hard mm. without a mentor. When you roll. Yes. Mm. You know, as they learn. Mm. So we also need mentors. Mm. Uh, things like representation. These mm. actors don't know how to talk to producers. You understand? Mm. Producers are always trying to And take they do not even know how to negotiate. That's the thing. Because mm. me, as a representative or a man manager, I'll come and speak on your behalf. You understand? I mean, many of the artists, even the musicians, they don't mm. negotiate their own money. Yeah. There is a manager mm. who does that work. Mm. manager again, because artists <coughs> oh, yes, I got a cola. Mm. Mm. Cola. By the time you think about the money, it is too late, you are drained. Mm. Now, these are the solutions I was trying to bring. Mm. Uh, I managed talent mm. you know i was representative of some talent mm. until i got busier mm. because the job of the oh, over the god's issues no, they, they, no. they were becoming I, I, put to. I can't i can't because i think i i'd studied this thing and i understood mm. I, I the psychology i studied from camp from from school mm. i used it and i apply it to people yes. i have to know you personally mm. and being a manager means i have to be there there are things you will tell me, the things I have to know that mm. no one else knows. You understand? Mm, yeah. I have to know you deeply, and it means I have to be available. Now, if I have a job that is running and it's a full-time job, mm. means I won't be available. Mm. When we need to go and meet a client, discuss mm. business, si you wow, you understand? Mm. Which means I'll be unfair to you and mm. your career. Mm. So I rather decide to say what? We part ways. Mm. People like uh, Tanya Shakira Kankindi, People like Aisha Chomhanji, Lady Aisha, yeah. people like Pamela Kerieko, Farida, Farida Dows. Why are you speaking of very big brands? Yes. These were, these were people I was working with. I was their manager. I was their representative. Mm -hmm. And we talked big things, you know. I, I'm very happy that even when we parted ways, mm -hmm. not because we failed to work together, to work together, but because it was time for, you know, for, for them to for move to, on. Yes. And for me to move on mm -hmm. because one, mm -hmm. our, you know, film industry and this business, mm. if you have constant bills, mm. you have got to find ways of making yes, sure you yes. pay those bills. So I had to branch off. Mm. They remained on the journey and I'm very happy they are still very, very fine. Mm. So uh, why I chose this was because I felt actors needed. Even today, I still do this. If mm. you go to my socials, the film industry is something I stand for, family. Mm. I want to shed a light, mm. put a spotlight on the film industry because mm. I know the more it gets, you know, better. Mm -hmm. I believe one day my children will be in this business yeah. and Apple doesn't fall far from a tree. <laughs> yeah. Before we call it a day, yes. do you think we're going to, in the in the near future, do you think we're going to have more Ugandan series, Ugandan movies on Netflix? Because you're 
Nigerians and South Africans are dominating this thing. Do you see a future of Ugandan content on yeah. Netflix? Yeah. I know there is one there's one show which is actually already being made right now. I mm. won't say much. By Lokman Ali. Uh-uh. No, <laughs> because of yeah or yeah, yeah. I think of course is a is like a, one of the favorites for people outside Uganda mm-hmm. because he has done works, collaborations across, you know, the borders. Mm. And uh he has, you know, he has stationed himself mm. to be yeah, us. Yes, which is a good thing for any artist. Uh there are things that are going to be coming. I know and I believe we are a virgin market. Mm. Uh and we're full of talent. Yes. We, we have, have a lot of untold stories. A lot. A lot. Mm. We just need to understand the value that we have. Mm. We just need to understand that we actually are good enough mm. and we belong up there. When those things are not yet here, <coughs> it makes sense. Mm. But they will come at the right time. You understand? And I feel like sometimes we put ourselves on the pressure for nothing. Mm. When the right time comes, mm. it will happen. Mm. Those guys will come and we'll even start sending them, you know what, we, not, we don't need any more. Mm. So there will be a right time. People just have to keep doing the good craft. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. What would be your very last remarks? To, we call it a day. Mm. Because I would really love to see you on set. Like we, we, we speak because you're literally talking to the public, mm. but you're speaking a lot of sense and putting wisdom into me. You do not know. It's a pleasure, man. It's mm. a pleasure. So like, what are your very last remarks? I would say, one, if you have a dream, hang on to it. Uh, don't let anyone chase that dream for you. Mm. Chase it and chase it. Mm. Uh, they always say, don't let, if you don't chase your dream, someone else will use you to mm. chase their dream. Mm-hmm. So chase your dream. You that understand? Makes a lot of sense. Yes. If you don't, mm. someone else will. You know, mm. you would have been uh, somewhere else, mm. but you said you want this mm. and you're here doing it. Mm. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? You know, there might be a big opportunity <laughs> in this space mm. and you jump onto that because you are here mm. training and preparing yourself for that. Mm. So anyone who is out there, if you have a dream and you want to, go out there and chase that dream. You know, it will make a lot of sense. <clears throat> for the parents, I would like to say, make time for these little ones. They grow very so important, fast. Very important, very important. Yes, they grow so fast and before you know it, they're out of your hands. Before you know it, they are making decisions that are going to make you look like a bad parent. Have time for them. The time you have for them, talk to them. Share stories with them of the things you did wrong. By the way, those things are very important. I've seen it work miracles. I've told my children things I, I did wrong and the things I did right. And I tell them, you need to avoid this because I went through it and I know what it means. And at the end of the day, they try to be better. To whoever loves the film industry, we need all the support. Please buy Ugandan and be Ugandan. Mm-hmm. These things are ours. No one is going to support them for us. Mm-hmm. Yes, but you have got to understand that favor mwe and mwe fe. <laughs> you have got to support us. You have got to push us to the level where you start saying, those are our children, those are our people, our brothers and sisters, and they're doing well. And things will get better. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for coming through, Benda. The words of wisdom have really gotten into me. But I'll tell you this. Keep subscribing to the channel. Keep sharing the channel to your friends and family. Do not forget commenting, doing all the needed things. And the, the, the YouTube channel is Home Post Creatives. The show is called Jai. It will be sipping a kachenga to new miramo one, two, three. And don't forget to look crystal clear studios a kololo bobango yagala ku recording a stu recording a music or in our audio sessions yagalo ku having a crystal clear is open to you. We are gala kola rehearsal situ yagalo kola. The space is really available and it's huge. So don't forget subscribing to the channel and checking me out. F A Y X O L Faiso Bless.